Hi, I'm Drew Stevens, and welcome to the video episode of the Inside Track. I want to talk to you today about self-sabotage or self-development. I found out something the other day that really inspired me to do this piece for you. What I determined was that people are attending church less. And I'm also finding out that people are starting to lessen their degree of education, both in reading material as well as attending classes. And these are the things that you can't be doing. We are in unprecedented times. We are going through some economic changes. Is there gloom and doom? Not necessarily so. Interestingly enough, while everybody keeps talking about the fact that we're in a recession and no money is being spent, go take a look at football stadiums. Go take a look at restaurants. There's still being money that is spent. Perhaps things are not right for you at this particular time based upon some personal, perhaps even some professional issues. However, you really need to consider the things that go right and wrong in both good and bad times. First of all, I want to let you know something. Why is it that people attend church during only the good times, or they seem to do a lot of prayer only during the good times, or perhaps on the negative side, they only seem to go when things are going wrong. You need to get into some sort of prayer and meditation, whatever it is, whether you believe in a creator or not. You do need to start understanding the fact that you need to ask for assistance from others no matter what. If you really look inside the millionaire mindset, the millionaire mindset has two things going for them. One is that they're not afraid to take a risk. Two, they're always asking for help, and they're asking for help of others that they know that they can achieve in the path of success. So why would you stop when things are bad? Why would you stop seeking good guidance if things are not going in the right direction? So seek guidance. That's method number one. Method number two, education. Why would you stop self-educating? Let me tell you something. No one, absolutely no one, is going to invest in you other than you. And secondly, the one thing that no one can ever take away is education. So it is absolutely vital that you invest in an education, an education that you can use, an education that helps you flourish, and an education that brings you new opportunities each and every day of your existence. It's the best thing that you can do for your personal life as well as your career. Last, self-mastery. You need to engage on three things related to self-mastery. First, you need to learn to live in the present. It doesn't matter what happened yesterday, and it doesn't matter what's going to happen in the future. We don't know what the future is going to bring, and we do that simply because we're worried about what's going to happen tomorrow. Live in the present because you know what? You, it's a gift, and you only get to earn that right for the next 24 hours because tomorrow is a whole new set of circumstances. You know, I'll never forget going to a seminar many years ago and one of the people had claimed that their best key to success was that they were six feet above the ground. Know that you're not having a disease. Know that things are not that bad. Do know that you need to achieve balance in your life by living in the present, not in the future, not in the past. Secondly, stop the limiting beliefs. It's those limiting beliefs that are the things that hold you back. It's real easy. If you think you're fat, you are. If you think you can't smoke, stop smoking, you won't. And if you think you won't get that job, you will not. Millionaires, as I mentioned before, are able to take risk. Millionaires are able to move forward and get obstacles out of the way. Limiting beliefs are obstacles. Get those obstacles out of your way now to achieve the path of excellence. Finally, the thing that you can do is start looking at your accomplishments. Start making a journal of all of the wonderful things that you have achieved in your life from the past all the way to the present and things that you even want to achieve in the future. You know what? You're really not a bad person. You are a wonderful person. And the things that you do and the things that you have done are absolutely, positively great achievements. What you need to do is need to keep looking at those accomplishments that are the, those are the things that create self-mastery. It's the things that you look at negatively that create self-sabotage. This is Drew Stevens with the Inside Track. I'll see you next time.